we've got the double XR line up now. XR on the left. And I'm on an XR. So, so you're looking at what I'm on. That's what I'm on. What he's on. There's ride leader. Ian. I like his tint. That tint really looks good on the bike. Nice. Nice and clean, that's for sure. Hmm. I think we need a corner marker, don't we? Yeah. I better corner mark this shit. I better corner mark it here. Ducati HP. Few bikes caught at the lights. The HP is pretty cool. HP Sports. It's got like a carbon fibre body. It'd be light as. That thing would be fun as. It'd be easy as. Gee, these lights take a while. Alright, this will be the tail end of it, so I better get my bike ready. There we go, clutch in. Oh, smack us now, the people cross. Far out. How long does this stuff take? Goodness gracious. Here they come. Here's the cool 1200k. Nice. Oh, his tail end. Tail end's in there. Behind me, good. Just me knackers. Oh. Get this jacket off my waist. Bloody knackers. Whoever invents a knacker holder for the bikes, I reckon make a fortune. <laughs> knacker tucker. Like a little box something or other that can tuck and fit in and like a cricket box but a s smaller version of it that will be comfortable on the bike and protect your knackers you know what I mean? something smaller and smarter
breaker breaker. It breaks any impact. It doesn't break your knackers, it breaks any impact. We call it the knacker breaker. Get your knacker breaker. You could go to like race meets and sell knacker breakers. Something that tucks in there and protects. I guess. I haven't tried. I wonder. Anyone tried using a cricket box for your knackers on the bike? Let me know if it worked. They should just make a knacker scoop in the tank. That'll be the bike of the century. A bike with a knacker scoop in the tank cavity space like you'd be shagging your bike or something you know we're not talking about a hole we're just talking about a cavity like a scoop that's all I'm not, I'm not getting holish just getting encapsulating you know yeah. encapsulating Going now, Ian. Going around the back or something. familiar we're on plenty road and we're going to chuck a left on behind the XR Arthur's Creek Road Arthur's Creek Road Arthur's Creek Road with a knacker problem. Oh, I've got to stand up again. Get the snacker issues soon. Far out. Maybe I thought the idea was get my pants up. Let's probably get my pants down. Yeah, that's better. Get my pants down. Is he going to turn in front of me? It's not good. Is this where the corner starts? Mm, nice. Cornering starts here. I know when we do this one, we're normally coming the other way. I don't think we're normally going this way.
power range. So I'm on the top gear and it still pulls. It pulls really well anywhere on the, on the anywhere on the rev range. But you could practically run this in six gear. Probably from way down in 60 at 60 kilometers per hour all the way through the top. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very nimble. See how I can just chuck it around on the corner? Very easily. Arthur's Creek. All right then. Uh, we've had a block of land here, eh? What would you do out here, though? Apart from shit in the woods. You wonder. Collect some hay. Roll some grass. What would you do here? Feed the chooks? If you had enough chooks You don't only need uh, 26 chooks And you'd be done for the year You only need half a chook a day 26 chooks? How hard would it be to grow 26 chooks? Can't be that hard Chooks and a lamb or two. Is it food for the year? And uh, GS Rocker, GS Rocket. It's pretty quick at that GS. Oh, flashing brake lights! Check it out. Nice on the blue bike. It's got flashing brake lights. Oh, I remember this stretch. I love, I'm one of those that loves using the engine to control the bike and um, I know some people don't do that, they let it rev, they let it sort of idle or you know the, where the revs are low. When I hit a corner I, I tend, the revs are up there somewhere typically. I, I don't like touching the brakes too much so I put it in the right rev range to have the revs do the controlling behind Scooter here Scooter the Fanger and here we are 
behind the K. Power K. He loves his K. It's very clean. Very well kept. Very clean. So easy. I love the way it controls and holds the bike. Love, love the way the engine holds the bike through corners and controls it. it means it can keep the power on nicely.